Okay, so now we've created this object and we want to export it um, for laser cutting. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and add the, um, there's basically a tool like an app that we need to add. So we come down here and we click the little plus to insert a new element, applications. And so the application we need is Kirimoto. I'm going to show you how to add it. So we go to, go to App Store. Um, and then if you go to Cam, it's the first one right there, Kirimoto. You click on it. You're going to click to subscribe or whatever you do there. I'm not going to cancel mine, but you can click free or whatever. There, sh there should be a, a button to click here to add it. And then that will add the Kirimoto for you. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to come back to here. And so it's not going to pop up in this menu right away until you refresh your, your browser window. All right, so but you've added Kirimoto. You refresh the browser window. Now we'll go ahead and bring that in. And we have to do a little bit of setup here to get it to work. Um, so let's go ahead and clear out the existing part. I've got a part there. We're going to get rid of that one. There we go. Okay, so in, under setup, we'll look at machine. Um, you're going to go to laser. You can just add any generic laser. Um, you want to, um, let's see, we're going to edit this let's see we want the width to be so these settings don't matter too much however we're going to set our width to be 900 and this is dependent on the laser that we're going to be using at school let's see if, there you go so width to 900 and we'll set the depth to be 600 okay and so that's done uh it's going to output i don't know about that ignore that stuff we don't want g-code Okay, and so you can name it uh, laser one or school laser, um, however you want to call it. We'll click save. Okay, and that's done. Up next, we're going to click files, import. And now um, we have two options here. We can import an individual part or a part studio. And generally, we want to choose the part studio option. Uh, for multiple parts for a single part it doesn't matter here but we'll choose the part studio for the multiple parts um, and so it'll be useful to have that later <clears throat> and so here it brings our part into Kirimoto and now it's ready to export okay and so what we're going to do here we're going to click on this layers option we're going to set our offset to 0 0.04 so what this does is it's adjusting for the width of the laser beam. And so the laser beam has a width of about um, 0 0.04 meters, or that may be half the width of it. And so what that does is it makes the, our shape a little bit bigger to allow for the fact that a little bit of extra material is going to get cut off when we create this. And so when we're making parts that kind of nest together, that's important. Um, so if we put the height of 0, it's going to kind of auto-detect the height. And we'll give it like a minimum layer height. Um, so we don't want anything under two millimeters thick. This is, these settings can get a little finicky. And so the thing that you want to be careful about is when you go to preview it, if you don't see it generate a profile like this in the preview option, then something's wrong with those settings. You'll have to go back and tweak them. But so we got the preview here. We can go ahead and export it. You can give it a name. So probably name it after yourself. Um, and then you would click the SVG. So this is a, um, a document type that is good for, um, um, a lot of things. It's, it's a pretty common design, um, uh, type of file that you'll use to make, um, it's called a vector file. You use it for all kinds of graphic designs, but it's also very good for, um, generating, um, cut files for different, um, types of tools. And I'll just go ahead and open one up for you so you can see it. So if we open this up, um, Inkscape is a program that can read SVG. So we'll open up an Inkscape, the file that we downloaded. Uh, it's going to open right now. Um, and you'll, get to, you'll see basically that, that outline in the um, Inkscape window. So we'll go ahead and um, see we got it right there. And so this is just a bunch of line segments. And really, if we wanted to, we could have designed this in Inkscape. 
we don't need the CAD tool for that. But when we get to more to three dimensional stuff with multiple parts, it's a little bit easier to do that in on shape. Um, but some people prefer to do that entirely in a, in a um, graphic design tool like this. Uh, one other note, a, um, an SVG file is different than a normal image file in that the, um, it essentially is um, a series of kind of like um, like directions for plotting lines and so and the reason why is so that you can uh, it can be scalable you can zoom in and you can zoom out and you don't lose detail so like if a regular image you zoom in it gets pixelized and then you can't see it anymore or then you lose the detail if you zoom in and so if we open up this SVG as a text file it just you could see what this is um, let's see if I can make it bigger um, format text there we go and so if we look here there's kind of like some of this header information gives us the size of the um, basically of the well, in this case with the layers size of the document um, and then we have lines plotted so they have like a starting point and an ending point and then directions on fill and stroke and width and we have this for kind of all these lines that we made in this one so it looks like what it's doing is it's giving points along the line so if you have um, like these could be our little triangles right we have the triangle one two three four coordinates there that were connected together um, where the last coordinate is connecting back to itself and same with this would be one of those triangles and this would be that main kind of outer um, shape all those coordinates so it's it's plotting each of these points and then it'll have the last point on there twice because it's connecting back to the original point and so that's the um, this is basically the 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 line in the SVG file that, that recreates this big shape here. And then you have these other ones here that create like those smaller triangles. Anyway, it's interesting to look at this stuff. Uh, There's probably more than we need to see for, for this class, but this is what's being created when we export an SVG. Okay, and so hopefully that gives you a good start on um, exporting from Onshape through Kirimoto. It's a pretty useful tool here uh, and allows us to generate these these cut files. Um, there are ways to do it directly from Onshape but it won't generate the SVG. It gives us something else called a DXF um, which is less useful. Okay so here we go and thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.